Departure's looking good. We're coming up on our nominal. Here. Okay, all flight controllers, go, no, go for landing. Retro. Go, I know. Go. Right. Go. Control. Go. go. Downtown. Go. GNC. Go. 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 Well, hey guys, Dave Anderson here, Heli Cools Helipad. Today, I really want to talk about panels and insulation. You know, they're not all the same, and you really need to know a lot of information about the panels that you're going to be choosing for your habitat. So, learn about panels with me. I will provide all of the references to back up all of the materials that I'm going to give you today. If someone is trying to impress you with their infinite knowledge, don't listen to it unless you can get it backed up by credible references. Don't just gum, gum, gum. Oh yeah, that's delicious. Thank you, Mr. Expert. I run into a lot of so-called experts in my field of work and they weren't experts at all. They were expert BSers that could convince you and weave a story really well, but they didn't really know what they were talking about. So what I have is a panel that is left over from a, uh, this was a window and this got cut out. Okay, so you got nice pristine surface. That's the white side, this is the gray side. Um, and there is an extrusion inside of here. So this is um, the Globe Trekker extrusion that comes with the panels. Each of these are 24 inches on center. And we're gonna do some destructive tests with this. It is 12 inches by 12 inches. This ought to be fun. <laughs> Let's get going. Before we get to the finale, uh, I want to do some testing on this thing. Um, it's just a corner piece. I don't know what kind of gunk got on it. It looks like some oil got spilled on it. Hey, it was in my shop. Hey, what can I say? So I'm gonna sign my name to it. Okay, good enough. So there we go. That way, you know, I'm not gonna play a switcheroo on you. All right. Let's test this to destruction. Shouldn't be that hard, but let's see what happens. Well, it um, survived, mostly. The problem is, is this thing, it, it, I just whacked it pretty dang hard and it actually did break this piece off. The backside is still on, no problem, but yeah, taking a full swing with the driving wood is just a little bit too much and it actually cracked the foam away from the uh, laminate. But you know what? This is just a puny little piece. Did it make a mark in this at all? No. Did it crack it? No. It's in perfect condition. All it did was break away from the foam. And test number two did the exact same thing. Just way too much stress. It blew out this part here. I hit it really hard, as hard as I could. You know, someone who is looking for a panel set uh, contacted me on YouTube and they said, look, you know, I asked for a sample from a company in Germany and they said it was the bear sandwich, man. A bear can't even bite through this sandwich. And they sent him a sample and the thing arrived in the mail delaminated. <laughs> okay, now he thought that possibly somebody had dropped it and it delaminated just because of the drop. Well, that is pretty poor quality. And you know what? I really don't think that our panels are going to delaminate just because of that. All right, there you go. That's where it impacted, right there on one of these. Kablam! Okay, so now we're gonna supersize it. We're gonna get in the truck and see if we can't really drop this just as hard as we can. Let's just see if this thing delaminates, shall we? All right, 
right, guys, so this was at 40 miles an hour. Can you see the scrapes? Um, I think that's just road rash. Um, there's a little bit of road rash on this side, not much, a few scratches. Um, a few, you know, pretty good hits on this side. But you know what? It's all together. I think that was a good test, 40 miles an hour. Can we say that we could drop this without it coming apart? I think I would go with Globe Trucker panels. Now I know what you might be thinking. You're like, Dave, that wasn't the same panel that you showed us. You know, I know because I saw that it had a aluminum piece of extrusion in it. Well, I had a change of plans. I want to do something just a little bit more, hmm. Now then, this is a nine millimeter. It is a solid copper round. Um, so let's just see how the panel fares against a nine millimeter. Caution, expert at work. Well, I have to say, that's not too bad. It all stayed in one piece, didn't come apart. I even missed the extrusion. All right, I need to see if this thing is bulletproof. I'm gonna game a little bit, a little bit closer to that extrusion this time. Well, you guys are not gonna believe it. Maybe you will. This panel is bulletproof. <laughs> it is ballistic, ballistic, because it is bulletproof. All right right there it stopped a nine millimeter bullet <laughs> that is awesome it's not delaminated hey military you want to get some awesome stuff that is bulletproof come see us we'll hook you up the panel seems to be tougher than a nine millimeter so it's time to up the game So this should do some major damage to that panel. Here we go. <laughs> oh, holy mackerel, there's some of the pellets coming out. Check this out. <laughs> Kablam! Now that is point blank practically. I mean, I think I was about five feet away, shotgun blast. Guess what? It didn't go through. <laughs> Even after that nine millimeter going through, it did not go through. However, it did kind of rip things apart. That was a lot of force, <laughs> but the panel is still together. It is still holding on, but it did stop the shotgun blast. <laughs> Check that out, dude. Whoa. This is how close I was. <laughs> it didn't even have a chance to get away. That's how close I was. Literally five feet away. Kaboom. I can't believe that. That is so awesome. Check down the extrusion. It bent it all the way in. You can't even see down it anymore. Just barely. It just mashed it all in. And that's after two nine millimeter rounds right in this same spot. Well, that was still a lot of fun, <laughs> but you know what? We're not done. I'm gonna do part two next time and we're really gonna delve into the different properties of the insulation and all of the things that Globe Trekker has thought about when it comes to the selections that they've made. Pros and cons of both. And well, I've also got something else to show you. So this is still floating away ever since June.
No water penetration in this. And I'll bet you if I opened it up, I'm not gonna get any smell either. I know you don't have smell of vision out there, but not a single scent. <laughs> Look at that thing wanting to float right up out of there. You can get back in there. So join me next time. I'm also considering doing a dry ice test because, well, there's some folks that say that PIR insulation isn't very good when it gets to cold temperatures. We'll go ahead and show the pros and cons of that too. Until next time, I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe out there and God bless.